Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you where you can go to make around $200 per day if you want to work from home. And as far as how much you need to make per hour, it's about $25 per hour, especially if you're working full time, which is eight hours a day. So if you want to do something, say, like software development, one place you might check is artandlogic.com. Artandlogic.com, if you go to the About Us section, go to Careers, and you'll end up on this page here. And this is usually a place that has a few work from home jobs. By the way, you'll need so you'll see these notices sometimes on some of these places that have uh, jobs available. Make sure you apply on the actual website that you are supposed to work for and make sure that you are uh, letting them contact you instead of someone else. So that's just a side note. But as far as jobs, they usually have a few work from home jobs, which will say remote next to them. Usually these are for the United States and Canada. And if you look at say full stack software developer, then a lot of times they'll tell you the pay at the top. So this is up to $55 per hour, 30 to $55 per hour as basically a full stack software developer and uh, you'll be doing things like Django based DOD and CAC card login, um, writing a data model layer using SQL alchemy and things like that. You may need to know Python and a few other languages for this and then you can apply at the bottom. So this is one that you know you can do and you might even have more uh, flexible hours with a company like Art and Logic than you would with some of the others that are just a very strict schedule. But a lot of software development jobs pay very well. This is one place you can check that usually has something that's very high paying available. Another place to check if you want to make $25 an hour or more online or around $200 a day is Buffer. If you go to journey.buffer.com, you'll end up on this page here. Buffer is basically a social media marketing company. They have like a software as a service where you can automate and schedule out social media posts and things like that. So if you go to journey.buffer.com, that's their jobs page. And when you go to see open roles, you'll see whether or not they have something available, but pretty much their entire workforce is remote and works around the world. So you can work pretty much from anywhere that, as long as you have internet. So they have a lot of really good uh, benefits and things like a $500 stipend to set up your home office. You get a laptop, you get a Kindle, you have the ability to work and live pretty much anywhere. You have lots of other perks as well, like health insurance, 401k, company match, and all of that. Now, they don't currently have a job available as of today that I'm checking, but you can check pretty much whenever you like. As long as you're work, looking for a work from home job, they pretty much uh, pay $25 an hour or more for just about every job that I've ever seen that they post. Even something like a customer care advocate, they pay much higher salaries than a lot of other companies would. So again, this is a social media marketing company and if they have jobs available with their benefits plus their really good pay, I would definitely check them at least every once in a while to see if you can find something available. And I'll, call, I'll also keep you posted as well if they have something that is hiring right now. Some other websites that pay very well, 25 or more dollars per hour that you could probably make around $200 a day, a day from if you work enough hours are Scribber, Scribendi, Scribewriting, and proofreading.org. So the thing about these websites, they are editing and proofreading sites. They hire people to do editing and proofreading. So you may have to have a background in that. Some of these will require you to have a degree, but some of these you might do part-time and some of these might be more full-time. So I would recommend that, you know, if you're going to do one of these that is more part-time, then make sure that you, you know, maybe do the same type of work for one of the other four or five websites out there like these. That way you can pretty much guarantee you have the hours you want. And a lot of them want you pick your own hours anyway. So you can kind of schedule multiple blocks for a couple different companies in the same day and therefore it equals eight hours a day at around $25 per hour. So Scribber, again, an editing and proofreading site pays about $25 to $27 per hour and you can go on their website, scroll down to the bottom, and it'll tell you a little bit about jobs right here. 
or under our editors. And then you can see if they have some stuff available where you can work from home. So just look for anything related to the freelance jobs where it says editor and it'll tell you what language you need to speak. They do have different languages and they do have spots around the world. They have some jobs in Amsterdam, USA, Canada, as you can see. So they're not just US only. But if you were to say click on one of these, it'll say like freelance editor. So you may do this more part time because it's freelance. And then again, you add some of the other ones. If you can get this job, you should be able to get the job at pretty much any of the other sites I'm going to show you for editing and proofreading. So you can combine the hours to average, you know, however much you need to make per day. But this pays you up to about 25 euros per hour. So you can do the math. That's pretty close to $25 per hour. It might actually be a little bit more. And then you have Scribendi. Again, editing and proofreading. This is another site to check out. And they pay about $25 per hour if you kind of average it out. And Scribendi has all these, you know, awards and stuff as well. If you want to check those out, they have that on their homepage. And you can see open positions under jobs right there at the bottom. And see what they have available. So look for things related to, say, proofreading and editing type things. So you see like in-house positions. There's some right there. Um, some of them require you to do it at a certain speed. This one they have full time, so you may not need to do anything else with this. You should be able to make that $25 or so per hour or more, $200 or so per day if you do it full time. So Scribendi looks like they have some full time ones available right now. Scribe Writing is another one, scribewriting.com. If you check them out, you can also go to Scribe Media. But Scribe Writing, basically, you scroll to the bottom. Um, and they have their careers down here. But when it comes to scribe media or scribe writing, they basically help authors publish books, get them marketed, and get them a lot of sales. You know, they help basically help authors with the whole process of um, creating books, selling them, and all of that. So you'll want to look at the freelance section on their careers page if you want to work from home. They currently don't have any work from home jobs available. Looks like the one they had available not too long ago got filled. But they'll usually have something here that says scribe or ghost writer or something like that. So a scribe or ghost writer can be someone who edits, proofreads, or does, of course, ghost writing, which is where you write things for an author or a blogger or something, but you don't get credit. You just get paid for it. So... 60 to 70 dollars per hour is what scribe writing tells you that you can get paid now that might be kind of flexible hours it may not be a full eight hours per day but you don't even need a full eight hours per day to hit that 200 dollars per day that you might want you could literally work half or even like a third of the hours and still make what you need just working a little bit every day for scribe media so that's another one to check out. Make sure you check the open freelance positions. I've covered them many times in the past. You may have seen some of my past videos about scribe writing. You can also search about scribe writing at selfmadesuccess.com and you'll see some uh, examples of their jobs in some of those videos and blog posts. Also, again, last but not least for the editing and proofreading websites, you have Cambridge proofreading and editing. So Cambridge is at proofreading.org. And if you go to the about section, scroll down to careers and jobs, and then I'll take you to this page I'm already showing you. You scroll down a little bit, you can do this worldwide. It'll tell you you can make $20 to $30 per hour US, paid weekly, bi-monthly, or monthly, up to you. Pretty much you can have flexible hours, but you just need to be able to do 10,000 words per week. That's all you have to meet. Um, but as far as what you'll need, advanced university qualifications and or experience in academic editing, publishing, or as university faculty, native English speaker, hold at least a bachelor's degree from a well-respected university that is English speaking. So star candidates, what I mentioned about advanced university qualifications, you don't necessarily need those, but it would help. So then you can kind of create your own schedule, get paid via PayPal, and you can click next steps to start applying. 
So as far as at least $25 an hour or so in making that online, there's another kind of group of websites I want to show you. Basically, they help you make money by teaching English online using like a video chat platform, kind of like Skype. But um, a lot of these companies have their own kind of platform on their website. But basically, you'll be teaching kids English for the most part. And one of them is dadaabc.com. And you can get paid around $25 per hour here. Choose your own hours. So, of course, you can maximize your hours to get closer to that $200 per day if you need to. What's nice about these is they're all flexible, the ones I'm going to show you here. So you can have multiple jobs for different sites in the same day. So Dada ABC, you can apply here at dadaabc.com slash teacher. And you just put in your email, start applying, or you can apply with Google, Twitter, or your Facebook account. So again, this is one of those places where you can get paid to teach English. And a lot of times the, you know, the curriculum and all that stuff is pretty much set up for you. So it's much easier. Then you have one like Magic Ears. Magic Ears pays up to $26 per hour. So you could hit that, um, that number of hours you need for the $200 per day. It's pretty much the same type of thing. You teach English to kids using a video chat platform. And uh, you may need some kind of teaching background to do this. So make sure that, you know, if you're going to do this, you probably have some like teaching degree or something along those lines. But you can go to the learn more tab up there and it'll tell you a little bit about, you know, what you're going to need and requirements, all of that. So bachelor's degree, university students are also acceptable. So you can be a student, but they want you to at least be a student or have a degree. And experience and certificate is required. Next is a website called Schooly. Schooly is basically a place where you can get paid if you have a master's or a PhD in a certain subject that you could tutor uh, students in. So this is not just like an English speaking a website like some of the other ones I just showed you, but Schooly is one where you, you know, tutor students on a specific school subject. So you have math, you know, science, whatever. Um, so you can kind of do that and get paid. You have video chat platforms, you have like a whiteboard, and you can kind of illustrate different things. But um, it looks like they mostly do math as far as uh, what you do. So mostly math subjects at Schooly, but as far as getting paid, you can do this for tutors. So for tutors right there, if you click on that, you can become a Schooly online tutor and then set your own schedule. And then basically you can get paid about $25 per hour on average. And there you go. That's about it for that. And it's another flexible type job you can do online. Then if you want to do more like video and audio editing, you could do 3Play Media. 3Play Media does have kind of a wider range in pay, but if you do something like subtitles, that can pay a lot more. So if you were to do, say, 3Play Media, you have closed captions, you have audio descriptions, translations, transcriptions. So you can do something like closed captions and it might pay a little bit more especially if you're converting it to another language and then having that synced with a video of some sort. So 3Play Media for more like video editing. Uh, you can go to Jobs up here in the top of the page next to Get Started. And that's a place where you can make up to $30 per hour. If you go to Transcript Editor Jobs, that's what you want to look at. And then, again, the... Hours can vary with some of these. So they have English and Spanish available right now for transcript editors. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you do need to type very fast to apply here. So make sure you can type 75 words per minute at least. And then make sure you can meet the computer requirements. But you can work pretty much anywhere in the United States. And again, 10 to $30 per hour, you can get up to that $30 per hour or close to that, then you will be able to kind of hit that pay that you might need. And then you can also combine this with another site. So there's another site called Rev, and Rev is very similar to 3Play Media. You can get paid to do all sorts of video editing and transcription type stuff. 
and you can make up to maybe around 40 or 45 dollars per hour depending on what you do also you can make a much lower amount of money per hour because they have different types of jobs but rev.com if you go to their about page and then you go to freelancers right there it will show you what they have you have usually three or four options so right now they have transcriptionist you have captioner and then you have subtitling so subtitling is what you would want to do if you can get a subtitle type of gig with rev you can get up to you know three dollars per audio or video minute that can really translate to closer to that 40 or 45 dollars per hour now if you get one of these other ones you know like transcriptionist that's going to be on the lowest end of the scale you might be more like ten dollars an hour if you did something like that but again go for something like subtitling and you might be able to get to uh whatever it is you're trying to make per day but they do pay you pay you via paypal uh your hours will probably not equate to eight hours every single day so again you could combine that with something like three play media and together maybe get enough hours there are other sites out there that probably don't pay quite as much as these two but uh, you can also get a part-time job or you can do one of these other ones that i mentioned as well like editing or you know coding or something like that so another thing you might want to do is do your research before applying for these especially for the ones that have actual um, non-contract jobs where you're actually a full-time employee so like if you went to scribber for instance at glassdoor.com you could read reviews about what it's like to work for them they have a 4.7 out of 5 or you could go to indeed.com under company reviews i looked up buffer they have a 4.1 out of 5 star rating there on indeed so you can read reviews from people who have worked for these companies but other than that you can check the video or playlist in the top right for more of these types of work from home jobs and websites and other things like that to help you make however much you need to make per hour online. I probably covered a lot of different websites that might interest you. And then you can also go to selfmadesuccess.com for more information on any of these sites. And other than that, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.